Hey, welcome back. This is the third video in this uh, uh, tech tip on on building the multi-host CPU um, OIDs uh, for for graphing your your CPU utilization. And uh, we started with the data input method. We moved on to the data template, and in this video, we're going to cover the graph template. And so we want to uh, create since this is a version 10 specific, we're, we're going to um, create it much like this. So we'll do, instead of global host CPU utilization, we'll, we'll do multi-host. Um, so, five, oh, that's a mouthful. All right. For the actual graph title, I'm going to do host description and uh, multi-host CPU utilization. Make this one a little bit bigger because we're going to actually be graphing CPU 0 and CPU 1 on this graph template. We won't add global host to this graph template. We'll, we'll put that in another one. Um, and in fact, I already have that one running, and, and but the you know the process will be much the same as this is, so we can percentage and click create. All right, so we have the template, we have uh, our graph title, but now we actually have to add graph template items, and this is where we will select our data sources. We're going to start with CPU 0 and we'll graph CPU 0 positive from 0 and then we'll graph CPU 1 negative from 0. Um, if you get into the situation where you're graphing more than two CPUs you might just want to graph each CPU on its on its own graph because it might get uh, kludgy. Um, so we want to go down to there it is. Alright, CPU, we're going to actually do the five minute as the as the area since that one is probably more indicative of overall uh, system performance. So we'll build that as an area. And the color will make a nice green. And then we just want CPU 0, 5 mint utilization. And then in order to see the the numbers, we want to add some G prints for that. Oh, we don't want any color. Uh, and then that first one we want is actually the last value, which gives us the current value. Create that. And then we want the average, which is fine. And then we want the maximum. Keep wanting to grab that color. And then we want a hard return there. Click create. All right, and then uh, CPU zero, uh, one minute, and the five second I'm going to add as lines, uh, but I'll go ahead and pause this uh, so you don't have to watch me enter data. Okay, you can see now we have CPU zero done, and uh, we have the five minute is going to be an area, and then um, the one minute and five second are going to be lines uh, that, uh, that that graph from zero up to 100. Uh, in order to get uh, CPU 1 uh, to go below 0, we're going to add that also uh, as green. Actually, let me get the data source right first. So we want the one CPU 1, 5 minute. We want that to be green, like CPU 0 was. We want that to be area. And then the CDEF function here, we want to be uh, make stack negative. And we want to label. 
couple here. CPU one, five min, utilization. All right, so we're going to go negative with this one. We're going to add some G prints for that as well. And then uh, we'll also add the one minute and five minute for CPU one. Uh, so I'll go ahead and pause until I get those built up. Uh, but also, um, like CPU one, five minute, the the one minute and the five sec will also uh, have the CDEF make stack negative. Um, point that out before I pause here. Okay, so we have all of the um, graph items we need. Um, again, we're going to do the global CPU um, on a different graph and, and really it's the same process as it is here, so I'll, I'll leave that to you guys to discover, but uh, for this one, um, the graph template looks... Com oh, forgot a hard return there. The legend at the bottom of the graph looks wonky. If you don't uh, have a hard return after the uh, G prints for each uh, each graph item, you're going to have uh, actually display and stuff. So uh, we have all of what we need, and uh, we can go ahead and click save. Now, as you're building graph templates, and if you're adding them actually to be um, a host uh, part of a host template, at this point, you'd go to host template and click on uh, F5 Big IP and then uh, we could add the V10 multi-host CPU utilization click add and so anytime you add a new device uh, against this template it'll show up uh, since we already have a device discovered that won't be grandfathered um, but we can add it anyway so we can create graphs for this host And we'll have to go down here to graph templates and find it. It's right there. And then we just want to scroll down to the bottom and click create. And we see up here we've actually created the graph, which is good news. And then we can actually go to graph management and make sure it's actually going to build something. And turn on debug mode. And that's. I'll give it a second here. All right, it's had a couple minutes here. Let's see if we actually have a graph. Okay, good. Why are we not? Hmm. All right, we see our utilization here, but it's all. Well, I guess it hasn't really taken a delta yet. We'll, we'll wait a, another poll here, make sure it, it takes a delta, and then we'll see what we have. Okay, so we have. In the graph, um, only one plot point, so I don't really see anything uh, colorific on the map yet. But uh, we do see that we are um, trending down and, and up, uh, or below and above zero for the the two CPUs. So let's go ahead and dump this graph onto a graph tree, and we'll want to add that to my device tree. Alright, so when I come over here to graphs and click on my LTM, I can see, um, oh, okay, so we've got some plot points up here now. Um, and so from zero, we see the, the five minute in green and the uh, one minute in blue and then the uh, the five seconds in black and as that trends across the 
the graph be a little easier to see that. Um, all right, well, this concludes uh, building the uh, CPU uh, multi-host uh, graph templates. Thanks.